Now, there is a difference between saving and investing, and some of you may be very good at saving money, but saving money is not going to help build the wealth that you need for the future. And this is because even if you hold so much money in savings, over time, your money is going to lose value because of inflation. Now, instead, if you invest money, if you invest the money that you save, you can outpace inflation and you can grow your money to help build a better future for you in retirement. You just don't outpace inflation, <laughs> you kick inflation's butt. Because when you invest, your money is growing through interest, dividends, and capital gains. All of this is compounding to really grow your wealth. And so when people are talking about they have a lifetime of savings, I hope they don't really mean they have saved all of their money in a low yielding savings account because that would be a travesty. If instead you spent decades investing that money into the stock market, your money would be growing exponentially. And this is actually a really important point for people that are also investing. Sometimes people that invest hold too much cash on the side, too much cash in a low yield savings account, even a high yield savings account. When you hold too much cash, you're not allowing that cash to work for you. Again, you really want to focus on building up your investment accounts. But you know, I think what is at the root of this issue is the misconception that saving is safe and investing is dangerous and risky. I think personally, it is more dangerous to hold money in a savings account when it is being eroded through inflation. On the other hand, if you look at the historical returns of the stock market, a person that invests in the stock market over the long run always makes money. 